be late. Sorry. Lester. Dad. We are going to be late. Good God, woman. You can't just announce that we're leaving and expect me to be ready in five minutes. No, you've had plenty of time. Now put on your shoes. If we're late, then we have to reschedule. And by the time we have your next appointment, you'll be dead. Well, then we'll both have something to look forward to, won't we? Thanks, Ada, dear. I'll be in the car. She's not this excited about anything. Did I raise your mother to be this greedy? Yes. <laughs> Ava, you are a wonder. What a patient woman. Now, well, let's go before she drives through the living room. <laughs> stay with us. Ava, he limps, he's grumpy, and he has an attitude I simply can't deal with anymore. Besides, no one in the family has the time or the energy to take care of him, including you. You're in school, you have track. You can't be home all day. I work, your brother's in college. He needs to be where somebody can keep an eye on him. He's family. You can't just send him away. Please, Mom. Ava, this is the best thing for everyone, including Grandpa. He'll be fine. But this is so unfair! You take him to write his will to make sure that you get everything that you want, and then when you're done with him, you send him away to die! Young lady, do not speak to me in that tone. I'm your mother. Yes. No, no, I tried. Well, I couldn't care less about his possessions. <laughs> well, I tried to get valuable things, but your uncle took, you know, a lot. Has Mom told you what she's doing? Making that awful soup? No, she's on the phone talking to Arthur. They're breaking up your possessions. What? She got what she wanted, didn't she? Well, there's no stopping her there. Do you have to go? Who's going to play board games with me? Who's going to teach me about the good and the bad? Who's going to want to spend time with me? Who's going to want to spend time with you? Why don't you fight to stay? I want you to fight. You know I never stop fighting, dear. But there are other ways to fight than by arguing with your mother. Like what, gluing yourself to this chair? No glue, or anything for that matter, can keep your mother from backing out of this one. Then what? Let me worry about that. Don't you have homework to do? I don't know, but whatever it is, I hate it. No, please, Arthur, we can't just turn him out. Ugh. I thought I heard the sound of a hopeless frog. Thanks. Who are you talking to? Arthur? Come on. It's time for dinner. You came all the way up the stairs to tell me that dinner was ready? <sighs> Look, I'll be fine. I don't need you trying to help me. You have plenty of other things to worry about. You never quit fighting, so why should I? Because you need to know when to give up.
So did you ever read that book yet? No, sorry, I've been a little busy. I can't wait forever now, can I? So, how'd it go? Well, you should see this place. All the wallpaper is from the 70s. Looks like something out of a teenage horror film. But I guess I'll be as happy there as I am here. Though I'd rather die here. Ava, I need you to come here, please. I'll be right back. Is everything packed? I suppose. Grandpa? Look, Ava. I'll be fine. Stop saying that. Come here. I want to die, Ava. I want to die right here and right now. But I won't. Do you know why I won't? I won't die because of you. I am not gonna let you have to suffer because of this family that I screwed up. You are the one decent thing to come out of this not decent place. And I wanna help you become the best that you can be and then you will be the one good thing that I did in this world. I love you. And I need you. And without you, I am dead. It's time. I'll start to take your things to the car. Here you go. I thought he'd leave you more, but a book. I don't know. Maybe it was his favorite. Whatever. Oh, a message. How typical. Well, what does it say? Ava? He left me everything. What? He can't do that. He already wrote a will. It, it looks like he wrote another one. Give me that. Bastard. He still gets me even after he's dead. 